Hey guys, Metal Driver here, back with another AEW Unrivaled review. Today I'll be looking at Series 8, Orange Cassidy. On the side we get an image of Cassidy, then on the back we get another image, the date, event, and place in which this image was taken, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, so that was the box, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at Orange Cassidy. Alright, and here we have freshly squeezed out of the package. Um, phrasing? But before we take a look at the figure, let's look at the accessories that he comes with. He comes with two gripping hands, an elbow pad, which the previous Cassidy figure did not have, a closed hand to put in his pockets, and unfortunately only comes with one, which is kind of disappointing because the Series 3 had two, so you were able to put both hands in the pockets. He does still have that gimmick, but you can only do it with one hand, so that is annoying. He comes with a thumbs up hand, which is very similar to the previous one, although the new hand has his thumb slightly up higher. A pair of sunglasses on the figure that you can take off easily, and a soft goods jacket with a soft goods shirt. Jacket looks pretty much exactly the same as the previous Series 3 one. Same pattern, same material. The shirt is the same material, but it's got a different graphic. Here we see Trent, Chuck Taylor, and Orange Cassidy with the best friends on the arms. The previous one had an image of Orange Cassidy, and being that this is soft goods, it can come off. There is a Velcro on the side. And then taking a look at the head sculpt, this is not brand new. It is the exact same sculpt as Series 3, but as you can see, the paint is slightly different on the new one. In fact, it looks better, in my opinion. So it gives the head sculpt an overall better look. I think the color choice on the hair, the beard, and the skin makes it look better. Paint on the lips look good, the eyes look good, the eyebrows look good, the beard stands out a little more. Here you've got two separate colors for the hair, so it kind of gives a bit of a faded look, and the previous one did not have that. Sculpting on the hair looks really good on both sides. So overall, I do think that this head sculpt is an improvement, even though it is the exact same sculpt. Now the promo images did have an alternate head sculpt for the figure, so it would have come with two, but instead we only got one with this one, so that is disappointing. Look at the body, it is the exact same body as the previous one. I put the elbow pad on the arm so that's really cool because the Series 3 did not have that so nice little accessory there. Then looking at the pants, it's got the same gimmick on the upper part of the thigh so above the knee so that way you can put the hands in the pockets or I should say the hand because they did not include the right hand for this gimmick which is as I mentioned disappointing. To me I find it kind of pointless if you're not going to have both hands why even have the gimmick. I think this would have been a great opportunity to to give him plastic legs so that way he could fully utilize the range of motion in the legs because you can't really do that with this rubber right here. That was one of the issues that I had with the original Series 3. Now, if you have Series 3, obviously you can use the other hand, but if you're someone who missed out on that, then it kind of sucks to be you because now you can't do what Orange Cassidy does. So, I think that's a bit of a miss on Jazzwear's part. Legs look the same as Series 3. Same color for the pants, knee pad here. Shoes look pretty much the same. Paint looks pretty good for the most part. Just some slight imperfections here and there. Going over the articulation, the head is on a ball joint and a hinge, so it looks really high up. Looks that far down, so great range there. Can turn side to side and slightly tilt. Arms go that high up, they rotate all the way around. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and it's not really hindered that much by this elbow pad. So if we look at this elbow here, so yeah, so you can bend it all the way, but it will bring the elbow a little bit out. A swivel and hinge at the wrist. Ball joint at the upper diaphragm, he crunches that far forward, that far back, twists side to side and pivots a little bit. Ball joint at the waist, he goes that far forward, that far back, and twists that much. The legs go that far out, but they don't hold their position due to the rubber pants. They go that high up, but again, they go back down because of the pants. There's a swivel at the top of the knee, double jointed knees, a swivel at the ankle, Hinge goes that high up on the ankle, goes that far down, and there is some great ankle pivot. Alright, and here is the new Series 8 Orange Cassidy next to the original Series 3 Orange Cassidy. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on the new Series 8 Unrivaled Orange Cassidy? Honestly, I have mixed feelings about this figure. It's pretty much the same as Series 3, however, lacking a few accessories kind of gives me this mixed feeling towards it. So there are pros, there are cons. The pros, in my opinion, is that his head sculpt does look better, and I do like the shirt. Although, I guess that's not really that big of a pro. The cons, however, is that he doesn't have the right hand to go into the pocket, and he also doesn't come with the second head sculpt that originally was shown to us, so that's kind of disappointing. I mean, 
mean, I do like that he has an elbow pad. I don't know if that's much of a pro. It is on his elbow right now, so it fits inside the jacket. I just, I don't know. I don't think this figure is enough of an upgrade or even a, an upgrade at all. Honestly, if they weren't going to include both hands for the pockets, they should have just given him a different pair of legs or just removed the rubber gimmick. That way, you could have fully utilized the range of motion in the articulation. Hopefully, if they ever release a new Orange Cassidy, we can get one with maybe soft goods pants, so that way the range of motion isn't hindered by this rubber gimmick. So, if you have the Series 3 and you still want this one, I mean, you could use the hands on that one, but if that's something that's not a big deal for you and you just want to have him standing on your shelf like this, this, then yeah, sure, the head sculpt does look nice enough where you could pick this up. Me personally, if I could only recommend one and you don't have Cassidy and you only want one figure in your collection, I would recommend Series 3. That's the one I would go with. But honestly, I guess it really depends on your preference. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. If you want a chance to get a shout out in the next video, leave a comment down below just like the toys that wrestle stated on my Ric Flair review that it looks like this will probably be the last Flair figure for a while. And yeah, I didn't really think of that while reviewing that figure, but I don't think we're going to get it anymore unless Flair comes back to the WWE. And who knows when that will happen. Follow me on social media so you can be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>